Our day of fitness. But in general, this street right here that we're staying on is like built for fitness. Picked up some protein smoothies. I got a strawberry one. Good morning. Good morning. Today is an exciting day because today we're doing something that's really comfortable for me and Meg but also something that we haven't really fully showed on our YouTube channel, and that is a day of fitness. Now, we, in, we are staying in Phuket, obviously, and we are staying in this area that's like super like well-known for its like fitness stuff. Um, specifically like Muay Thai and like fighting and stuff, like boxing, kickboxing and such. But you should see this street, which I'll show you later, that we're staying on. It's like gym after gym after gym after gym. So today, we are going to take you along with us and we're gonna to try to do as much fitness as possible. <coughs> Workouts, yoga, ice baths, saunas, food. healthy food. So today's gonna to be really comfortable for us. So hope you guys enjoy following along our day of fitness. First on the agenda for our day of fitness is a CrossFit workout right up our alley. We're going to a gym called CrossFit Siam. We've been here a few times already. The facilities are beautiful and we cannot wait to show you around. It is so sweaty here. Workout's done. Now what's really awesome about these facilities, a lot of them in Southeast Asia actually have this, but this one particularly is super nice. They have an ice bath and a sauna. So we're gonna hit some recovery here, post-workout. It's gonna be awesome. Hi, are you bored? Right here, cold tub. Pool, right there. Gym, right over there. Cold tub, pool, and gym with all within like 25 feet of each other. Now this cold tub here, it doesn't look that cold, but I went in it the other day, it is like freezing. Like it's gotta be barely above like actual freezing temperatures. Me and Meg are kind of wimps when it comes to ice baths, so we'll see how we do today. I think I can go straight in today. Gosh, why am I so weak at this? That's why I go step by step. And now I'm here. This is where I am. It hurts. It's so cold. It hurts. Here. Takes your breath away. Here you go. You got it. You can do it. Breathe, breathe. Five deep breaths <laughs> and I'm good. I'm good, I'm good. Let's be clear here, we are not good at this. So don't think that we're tough. We're not trying to play tough. It is just so cold. Now it's time to warm the body up with a little contrast therapy in the sauna that's about five feet away. We're at about 75 
degrees Celsius. So Fahrenheit, you can try to figure that out. I don't know, but it's hot and only getting hotter. I like saunas better than cold tubs. So what we've really enjoyed about this gym particularly and their CrossFit classes is, is that they are 90 minutes which is a little bit unique. It's, I would feel like most of the gyms in the States and stuff are like one hour long classes. Even here, we've only taken one hour long classes. Yeah, but this gym particularly has 90 minute classes, which is kind of fun, because it gives you a little bit more time. Uh, you can get some more lifting in. You don't feel quite as rushed. Big strength days. Yeah, now we're gonna walk around a little bit more and show you some more of the facilities, because this place is absolutely top notch. It's crazy. One thing that these complexes do and especially in Phuket that we've noticed is they have hotel rooms so athletes can come here can stay in the hotel room and really just focus on sleep training recovering and then pursuing their sport I think for most people it's like Muay Thai yeah but yeah yeah it's it, it's quite the complex and yeah this space particularly CrossFit's only a small part I would say the biggest part is people come here to practice Muay Thai and a lot of those different martial arts sports. Not born. One thing you might notice right away is that they have a track that literally goes around the CrossFit gym and the ju uh, yeah, Jiu Jitsu, Jiu Jitsu space. So really cool, kind of like Kirby, but what an awesome way to know all the distances. So there are three main buildings here. There's one that's MMA and Jiu Jitsu that has the, the padded floors. Then there's the CrossFit space, which you guys have seen. And then there's also the boxing, the Muay Thai uh, building that has like the ring and the bags and all of that equipment. And that is a tour of the facilities. That is the Phuket Fight Club. They've really done a nice job creating a really great environment and a great space to get some fitness in. Now time to feed our bellies. I'm so hungry. Meg is so hungry. I'm hungry too. We gotta get some food. Picked up some protein smoothies. I got a strawberry one. Chocolate, but you can barely tell. Look at how big these things are too. It's so big. Mm. So refreshing though. So we wanted to show you this street that we're on. Behind me here is kind of the start of the street. Um, it's called Tiger Muay Thai. It's one of the major Muay Thai places. But in general, this street right here that we're staying on is like built for fitness. I think it's otherwise known, or some people call it like the fitness street because there's just Muay Thai gym after Muay Thai gym after protein shake sand, after yoga place, after massage place. Like literally everything that you would need to be at optimal performance, you can find within a three block period. And we're gonna kind of walk down the street. I'm gonna kind of show you all the different gyms and all the different uh, things that this street has to offer, which if you're into fitness, is pretty sweet. As I was saying, this place right here behind me is Tiger Muay Thai. And it's one of the more well-known ones. And apparently, I don't know much about like UFC and Muay Thai and stuff like that, but apparently there's some famous people that have trained at this gym or they often come here to train. So maybe you know some people on these poster boards behind me. I don't, I wish I knew more about the sport, but this place is uh, supposed to be kind of like the top notch place. This behind me right here is another gym. It's another CrossFit gym actually. And I, I think they also have like, you know, boxing and martial arts and stuff like that. But another gym probably about a hundred feet down the road. There's two more massage places right next to each other. Massage. Massage. So I don't know if you saw in that little 10 foot um, section there, like literally 10 feet, it went massage place, protein shake place with fresh fruit, massage, protein shake place. That was a little glimpse into the fitness street. I think we counted like 10 to 15 massage places. You had like four or five tattoo places, probably three or four gyms, literally all within probably 400 to 600 meters probably. Yeah. It's pretty insane. Now, what is also great about this street, being that it is so like 
health conscious and like you know just a lot of people working out so you got the protein shakes and stuff like that but you also have a ton of great restaurants with like really healthy food which is really nice because sometimes that's hard to find and so you can just find some really healthy meals around here which just makes you feel good when we say hard to find i mean just like usually around these places the protein is very small it's there small it's the very small. Are small the yeah the portions are small but here you get nice big portions and so what we are going to do now is we're going to go get ourselves a nice healthy meal at this great kind of local spot that we found a couple days ago so we're at mr john's charcoal grill and it's like literally right next to our place and this is what we're talking about for healthy food options two Pieces of chicken breast, fried rice, and broccoli. Go ahead. <laughs> Ian got the same thing. And it's so good. I miss the broccoli, which sounds so weird, but you're not getting that everywhere you go. We do sound very enthusiastic, which over what seems like a normal meal, but this amount of protein is like more than you can get anywhere in any meal. It's amazing done with dinner we forgot to we realized we forgot to mention while we were doing our walking street tour that we actually got the opportunity last night to go to some local fights um, Muay Thai fights so I'm gonna link I'm gonna put in some clips right here and oh, hey. and you can uh, see what a local Muay Thai fight is like Anyway, now we are off to a yoga class taught by a person that we actually met last night from a mutual friend named Jack. And they joke about it as hot yoga, but it's really not hot yoga. It's really just normal yoga, but it's really hot here. <laughs> so it, it'll be a good challenge for us, I'm sure. Well, I can honestly say that was probably the most unique yoga class that I've ever taken, but also maybe the most enjoyable yoga class I've ever taken. It was so fun. Like a little bit more pumped up music. She had yeah, a lot at of energy. At one point she played I of the Tiger. I was, like, <laughs> where, I was like, where are we right now? I loved it. I really loved it. Yeah, I think we might have to go back. Yeah, she was awesome. Got some good stretching in, got some good holds in, but nothing too long, you know, just enough to kind of, you know, feel like you're doing something. But I think the main thing that me and Meg kept talking about is how sweaty we were. We were talking about how this is probably the most, in total today, this is the most sweaty we've been in a day. Sweatiest our, day of my life. Yeah, sweatiest sure. day, day of our lives, for sure. We drank like five bottles of water and it's still probably not even near enough. What a great yoga class. Now, we're gonna go back to our uh, place that we're staying, our Airbnb, because they have this sweet pool, and we're gonna finish up with a little night swim to finish out our day. Yeah. All right, guys, look at this pool. I'm so excited to show you. Look at this is from our balcony. Are you seeing that pool? It is so amazing. First of all, it's the longest pool that I've literally ever seen in a hotel in my entire life. It has got to be like 80 meters long. It runs like the entire length of our building. I'll try to conceptualize it when we go down to swim here right now. All right, so earlier today, I took some photos in the daylight of me at different points in the pool, and hopefully it gives you a little bit better idea of how big this pool is.
Okay, so like yesterday or two days ago when we were swimming, I tried to see how far I can see. I tried to see if I can make it all the way down to the other side of the pool underneath the water. Let me tell you, it's not possible. This pool is seriously 80 meters long, but I'm gonna give it another try here. I actually just did an attempt. That's why I'm breathing heavy. So if my result is poor, that's why. Okay, but here we go. We're gonna give it a try. Meg's gonna follow along with me. See how far I can get. I think that was worse. <laughs> I think that was worse. That was definitely worse. Guys, I made it longer than other times. Also, my whoop, my whoop broke, it slowed me down. All right, what a day. Fitness day in Phuket. I feel like an, such an athlete. We feel like such athletes here. I will say, this is, me and Meg were talking earlier, this was like a dream day for us, <laughs> as far as comfort. We woke up, we worked out, we got some good breakfast, we got recovery, sauna, cold yoga. tub, yoga, good dinner, nice dip in the pool to finish out the day. Honestly, just an amazing day. What I will say is, this particular area in Phuket, where we are staying, which by the way, we are staying at the Marina House, which is completely dedicated towards Mo towards Muay Thai, but it's a great location, and this area of Phuket is really just set up for fitness. So if you are somebody that's looking for a place to go get your fitness on and maybe even stay for an extended period of time and just get in good shape, this, this, is, is, this is it. This is seriously it. Yeah. Um, we've really, really enjoyed our time here because of that and we are definitely going to miss this place for sure. Oh yeah. Um, but what a great day. Thanks for following along our fitness day in Phuket. Hopefully, hopefully you enjoyed and we will see you in the next one. Here we go.